I found that art is not only a hobby, it's a passion that you have to overtake. But if you don't have your passion for art, you don't have the art. In 1989, the Indianapolis Art Center was approached by the Director of Housing for the City of Indianapolis about developing an art program for youth in public housing communities. Funded through the Department of Housing and Urban Development, the after-school art workshops that resulted from this initiative formed the early stages of the ArtReach program, which is now the Art Center's premier outreach program reaching underserved youth throughout Indianapolis and serving over 650 youth annually. In 1992, the Art Center began staging an annual exhibition of artwork created by the youth in ArtReach as a recognition of their hard work and a celebration of their creativity. A reception for the students ensured they could enjoy the attention being focused on them and their artwork. The exhibition was named in honor of Michael Carroll, a former deputy mayor of Indianapolis and vice president of Lilly Endowment. Mr. Carroll was a strong advocate for art reach and other programs related to developing the potential of youth. The exhibition was named in his honor after his untimely passing in a plane crash in 1992. In 2012, the Art Center celebrates 20 years of presenting the annual Michael A. Carroll Art Reach Exhibition. Following its early beginnings in housing developments, the Art Reach program now consists of partnerships with after-school care programs around Indianapolis, located in community and multi-service centers, schools, and churches. These partner sites provide safe, dedicated spaces where youth are already coming to participate in out-of-school learning. Outreach classes meet at these sites typically once a week for two hours. Professional teaching artists are at the core of the program, developing and implementing new lesson plans each week for their group of students. Instructors guide students in much more than just the production of a piece of artwork. They also include art history, lead aesthetic discussions that get students thinking about the nature and qualities of art, and engage students in art criticism by encouraging them to talk about their own art and the works of others. Instructors also integrate other subjects into their lessons whenever possible, such as geometry and math, geography, culture, or history. Most importantly, artist instructors serve as caring, positive role models for the youth and examples of working artists in their own community, and they encourage students to express their individual voices in a positive, creative way. The ArtReach program aims to make a long-term impact on youth by striving to create long-lasting partnerships with program sites and by building the relationship between instructor and site. The same group of students meets week after week, allowing them to build on the knowledge and skills they gain along the way. Recognizing that access to art education and expression may be increasingly limited for these students as arts budgets shrink nationwide, ArtReach strives to provide the highest quality experience possible during the after-school hours. Of course, ArtReach is also a lot of fun. That fun is at an all-time high at the annual Michael A. Carroll ArtReach exhibition each spring, when excited students travel to the Art Center to view their artwork in the gallery. The show is full of color and expression in a variety of art media and materials. Through the exhibition, students not only have the chance to visit the Indianapolis Art Center, but to see themselves as part of it, and to see themselves as the young artists they are. Um, art has made me feel that um, I am a person.